Hey everyone, I'm Morgan Crane, exclusive Black Status presenter with Unique, and my team had asked me a couple questions about how to increase visibility on Facebook and uh, make sales online. And this is something that I think is um, you know, something can be applied across all direct sales platforms, not just Unique. Um, but there are a couple um, tweaks, I guess, you can use when you're you're utilizing Facebook to be seen a little bit more than um, than Facebook might default to on its own. So if you're using a Facebook group or Facebook event, um, specifically Facebook groups, I guess we'll, I'll be talking about, um, the way that it becomes seen in a group member's newsfeed is based upon their interaction with the group page. And I guess I should say this is all as of November 2014 because they change stuff all the time, but I'm speaking about um, how it is currently. So the way it works is you are added to a group and if you never interact with the group in any way, you never like or comment or visit the group page, um, Facebook will assume, and usually rightly so, that you're probably not interested in the group or what is in the group, so it does not show you the group content in your newsfeed. Facebook decides what to show you based upon where you click, where you like, and how you interact with pages or with, with people on Facebook. So as a presenter or as someone who is looking for interaction and looking to introduce products through a group page, um, your job is to get interaction in any way possible. So you want content that is going to create comments and likes, um, and also you want people to go and visit the actual group page and interact there. So um, tagging people in posts that you think might be interested in the content, like, you know, hey, hey, Mary, and, you know, tag Mary's name. Um, I saw this and I thought of you. You know, let me know if you have any questions. And then that, that gives Mary a notification saying, come to visit Morgan's page and she'll come and she'll look and hopefully she'll comment back. Thanks Morgan for thinking of me. I love the mascara. You know, I'm going to buy some right now. That would be like the ideal, <laughs> the ideal result, but at least hopefully it will bring her to the page. So tagging people in posts, um, not just typing their name, but saying, you know, Hey Mary, I thought of you because of X, Y, Z here's, or, you know, Hey Mary, here's the group I was telling you about. Um, and that notification can help sometimes guide them to the group if they have not visited prior, or maybe they don't know where to look on their Facebook menu to find it. Um, a couple of things that you can do that will notify every single person who's in your group, um, is make changes. If you change the cover photo, if you change the group description, if you change, um, the privacy settings. So if you change it from closed to public, or vice versa, or to secret, every single person in the group is notified when there's been a change like that that is made. Um, if you make a, an event within the group and you invite all members, it'll say you've been invited to an event from this group. Um, and those are things that will get their attention to the group right away. Um, fundamentally, the you, not everyone is going to see everything that you post. I mean, even if it does show up in their news feed, say you post something at nine in the morning and they don't check Facebook until noon and they only scroll down so far, they're not going to see your post. So um, I always say Facebook is a tool. Facebook groups or events are a tool to reach customers. They're not the only way to reach customers and they are not the only thing you should be doing. Um, you know, if you have, if you have friends you think would be interested, get them on the phone, have them over for coffee send them a private message on Facebook, make it personal. This is network marketing. This means that it relies on your network and your interaction with your network. It's supposed to be people that you know, or you've connected with, not just, you know, you never want to just put up like buy the mascara or, you know, buy the purse or buy the whatever you're trying to get <laughs> to sell. Um, that's not attractive. It's, doesn't really showcase your personality. It doesn't make people feel connected to you. And even if that works and it gets them to buy the product, it, it does not, um, you know, create a bond or a feeling of connection with you. And that means the person might be less likely to come back to you for, to purchase, you know, a gift for someone or another mascara when there's run, runs out. So the whole goal of the business is to be personable. Like we didn't get into this business because we wanted to be in sales. We got into this business because it's fun and 
it's makeup and it makes me feel pretty and it makes my friends feel pretty um, and it's a great way to bring in some income at home. So don't don't lose sight of that in your ur you know, feeling urgency to make a sale. Um, you know, I think some people, if they see their numbers aren't moving as quickly as they had hoped, they get a little desperate and get a little like punchy and just be like, just buy it, just somebody buy it, somebody buy something. So I feel validated. Sorry, my cat's scratching at the door back there. Um, and sorry about that. Real life. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, those are some tricks to get your posts seen on Facebook. Um, if you're using a Facebook business page and you want to direct people to that, if you post something on the business page, you can share it to your personal page or share it to your group page. Um, and then hopefully people will click through to your business page. And then as a result, like the business page, um, you know, you can ask people go like my page, but people, if they do it, they, you know, might just be doing it just to be nice, but they're not actually exploring the content over there. And you want content to be explored and liked and commented on on your business page as well, because that is how, um, that's how Facebook decides to show you what's on the business page too. So seek interaction, make changes on your page, up, be updating your cover photo, update your, the description of your group, um, you know, make updates and go back to your old groups. If you, if you have run hostess parties in groups before, go back to those groups and change the cover photo, make it, you know, the monthly kudos or make it a holiday photo, change the description of the, of the group. Um, so everyone who's in that group will be notified and hopefully they'll, you know, they'll be coming back to you, um, to make, you know, to, or to buy more, more of the product or to refer someone who they think might like it. Um, but yeah, it's all about interaction. Be authentic. Be yourself. Don't be salesy. That's icky. Nobody likes it. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> um, I think that's all I can think of right now. I hope this helped you. And um, if you have any questions or comments, please post them below and I'll get back to you. Okay. Have a good day. Bye. Bye, George. Bye. <laughs>